today, instead of a review, I'm actually going to be showing you how to care for your wigs. We're going to be talking about steaming. Yay, I have actually been wanting to talk about steaming for quite some time, but even though we're not really talking about reviewing wigs or, you know, specs and special features of wigs, if you guys want to know about this wig I'm wearing, this is something I have reviewed in the past. This is John Renault Minka, and this is Salted Caramel. This is a favorite wig of mine. I love the waves. I love the lace front. Um, I think this wig is one of my favorites for pulling back because I feel like this color is a fabulous in-between color between blonde and brunette, but still has a fabulous, fabulous lace front. Anyway, but that's not what this is about. We are going to be talking about steaming and what steaming can do. Now, this steamer that you see right here is the John Renault steamer. A lot of steamers that people use are clothes steamers and things like that, which can be useful, but a lot of those steamers don't have a nozzle like this that will make that steam more centered where you want it to go. Larger clothes steamers will billow out the steam in a larger area, and this has a more targeted area because of that nozzle, if that makes sense. To give you a little bit of information, let's talk steaming. So basically, what is steaming? What is it used for? Well, in a nutshell, there's about two main reasons why we steam. Number one is it can help remove frizz and damage from your synthetic fibers or your HD synthetic fibers, whether that be damage, frizz, just those really rough ends. A lot of the times when a wig is starting to feel crispy, um, it doesn't flow the way it used to when it was new. A steaming job can really help bring back the life to that synthetic piece. So here's an example. This is my John Renault Zara in Chocolate Cherry. This wig is well over a year old and she still looks fairly good, but when I put her on, it, it kind of feels a little crispy on the ends. It doesn't flow or swing like natural human hair. And even though this is synthetic fiber, you want it to mimic um, human hair as much as possible. And over time, those fibers can start showing that wear and tear. So what you'd want to do while steaming out some of those dry ends is use a fine tooth comb and carefully go through those fibers while steaming and that will help remove all those frizzy ends and damage while you're steaming. Now one thing that we always push is use your wide tooth comb on your synthetic fibers. But while you are steaming, you know, a fine tooth comb can really help assist with making sure that those fibers are nice and smooth when you are, you know, trying to steam out those frizzy ends. So as long as you're careful and you're not trying to stretch and pull those fibers uh, really harshly, then you'll be okay. And I wanted to show you guys another really nifty tip when steaming is if you guys use combs, these are two combs, and guess what? They're not plastic. I have a lot of plastic combs, combs that probably could do the job. That one has hair on it. Anyway, but these combs are not made of plastic. This is carbon. And carbon will be heat resistant and chemical resistant. So when you are steaming away on your synthetic fiber, uh, you will be guaranteed that these combs will not melt. So I'm actually going to be steaming out the rough, dry, brittle, kind of frizzy ends on my John Renault Zara. And that's very, very typical with longer synthetic pieces. Uh, because of the friction moving, you know, on your back, on your clothes, uh, your longer pieces are going to start showing the wear and tear a little bit sooner uh, than your bobs or your lobs um, or your pixies because of the length and the fiber. You'll have to see the before and after photos, which I will show you guys of this John Renault Zara. It's, it just kind of has a, a stiff, movement to it, if you guys can tell. It's still gorgeous, the color's beautiful, but it, it could use a little TLC. 
The second reason why people like to steam their wigs is because it can completely change the structure of their synthetic fiber. You know, a lot of people get their synthetic pieces because it has a style with wave, curl, bone straight, whatever it may be, it's built into the hair. But sometimes they get it and they'd like to have curl or they'd like to have it be a little bit more tamed down, not so curly. And you cannot use heat tools on synthetic fiber unless it's the HD synthetic fiber. Well, when you steam, you can actually add curl, you can straighten, you can change the structure of your synthetic fibers with a steamer. This is the only way that you can do that. And it's really, really fun because you can completely change a wig into a, a very different looking style by doing this. Or say you got a topper with wave or curl and it seemed to relax over time. Just put in a few curlers. Uh, I did get a few of these. I'm going to check these out and experiment. But you can add a little bit more curl, follow the curl pattern that was there that it came with and try to revive and um, maybe make that curl a little bit more pronounced or um, not so loosened, which sometimes that can happen over time. So this is my John Renault Hope. This is HD synthetic. However, I didn't really have a lot of luck trying to curl it with a curling wand. I don't know what my deal was. So I actually really want to reset the style and I want to add curl to it. So I picked up a bunch of these curlers right here and I am going to make this cute, cute bob, also in chocolate cherry, a curly bob. And I'm super, super psyched about it. I'm really, really excited. So as far as styling for steaming, um, basically you can make a straight wig curly, a curly wig straight. And if you are wanting to make a wig curly, you will set your hair in the curlers, whether you use pin curls, your rollers, or whatever else, and then you will steam the hair. Then I really highly suggest you let the hair cool. This will just further help set those fibers in place. But just take note that once you change the structure of your synthetic fiber with a steamer, it will not go back or change until you use a steamer again. Another thing that's really great about steaming is you can steam a part, a part that you like. Um, some wigs, they just are very resistant and they want to part a certain way. They have knots that are directed one way or another and using a steamer can really help you direct the hair where you want it. It's absolutely amazing for removing frizz or damage from synthetic fiber or your heat resistant fiber. And then of course you can loosen or reshape the curl. And the nice thing is, is that this nozzle helps you direct the steam in your desired area. Okay, I wanna show you guys another tip that I learned from the John Renault educators. If you have a hard time curling your fibers and wrapping them around a curler and having the ends curl too, or keeping them all together, using perm papers like these really help to keep your fibers all together and wrap nicely around your roller. What this will do, it will make it so that your wig does not have any fish hooks. Because if you don't have those ends, unless it's your desire to have those ends hang out, if you don't have those ends inside of the roller as well, it will create a kink or a fish hook. And these end papers are very, very useful when trying to contain all of those ends together. So that's just another steaming tip that I thought was quite helpful. All right, I'm going to actually film a little tidbit of myself um, reviving my John Renault Zara with some before and after pictures. I also have my very oldest um, synthetic piece that I still have 
and that is a bang. It is actually a hairdo brand bang, but the ends are so crispy, it feels like Barbie hair. I really, really am curious to see if this steamer can help that bang because it's pretty, pretty bad. I love the bang. It was a heaven send when I bought it. I love the way it looks, but those ends are crispy critters. So I want to see if the steam can help that out. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys steamed? Do you swear by steaming? Um, I know a lot of salons and uh, locations offer steaming and reviving wigs as services. So if you don't own a steamer, you can definitely take your wigs in and have um, stores and shops do that for you. It really does help those wigs uh, get new life so that you can wear them longer and get more use out of your investments. I'm going to go and start steaming away. Stay tuned for the before and afters.